Let's go, two on, two on, let's go, hurry up! For Torero's running back, Joseph Binda Jr., USD football is a miracle. Overcoming hurdles is the story of his life. A miracle brought Binda to the U.S. when he was just two years old. He was born into poverty and war in the West African nation of Liberia. But his parents, Joseph Sr. and Edith, beat incredible odds, winning a worldwide green card lottery that allowed them to move the family to the United States. He chose Rhode Island. He didn't know much about the United States, so he was just trying to make a way himself, you know, and try to make a way for us. But by high school in rugged blue collar Pawtucket, Rhode Island, trouble followed JoJo. We were like six of us living in a one bathroom apartment, bouncing from schools to schools. I got friends, you know, that are, you know, just dealing with drugs. They're, you know, they're uh, skipping school. I was skipping school. Um, at the same time, you know, trying to, I was trying to fit in, you know. JoJo knew he needed to escape. His parents had separated. So he went to live with his father in Kamiak, Washington. They had the best support there at Kamiak High School um, because there were people that really cared about me and not cared about me as a football player, but cared about me as a person. They changed my mindset as a teenager growing up and said, hey, it's time to take responsibility, you know, and become somebody. After high school, uh, I didn't have enough high, a high enough GPA, and those schools were really looking at me. I ended up working that whole summer, mowed lawns, worked in people's backyards. I ended up doing like a, a ice cream job where I was selling ice cream to kids in the ice cream truck. And so I did that, saved the money, and uh, bought my plane ticket, my first plane ticket to California by myself. JoJo knew Saddleback College, a JC in Orange County, California, had a reputation for preparing football players to get to the next level. But at Saddleback, the hurdles grew higher. I don't know anybody, I'm by myself. I ended up being homeless for two years. I was living from house to house from my teammates. No matter what the hurdle was, no matter how big it was, I had to make sure that I get over it because my parents sacrificed a lot for me to be out here. And I wanted to make them proud. While other kids were sleeping in their houses in a comfortable bed, I was in my car doing homework, studying, make sure that I got an A on that midterm, make sure I did show up to office hours, make sure I did go see the nurse when I needed uh, toiletries. Binda's intelligence, determination, and grit paid off. USC was looking at me for a little bit, UW, University of Washington was looking at me for a little bit. They all dropped me, uh, and then I get an inbox from uh, Coach Tyler Sutton. We found JoJo, uh, his highlights on the internet. I was sold on him because he, he wanted to make sure that I was in the best position to be successful. We've tried to do the best we can to, to set him up with um, programs and situations and people that will help him be successful here along his way. That's my dude, he has my back and I know I got his. Let's go. Let's go. Now there are plenty more hurdles for JoJo. How to pay for school, how to succeed in the classroom and earn a starting role on the team. My goals for the future is to graduate with my degree in clinical psychology, double majoring with pediatrics. And um, you know, if football is in the past for me, then it is in the past for me. I would love to go to the NFL. Jojo Binda Jr. agreed to do this story only in the hope that it may inspire troubled kids like he once was. I want to sit down in my own office and tell those kids that you can be somebody and that you are positive to society and that you can you know, do anything that you put your mind to. Anything he puts his mind to, he has done. Anything in my opinion, that he puts his mind to in the future, he will be able to do as well. Thank you.